domain of a rational function. We already know that the denominator cannot be zero, but there are two graphical features that result from leaving an input out of the domain of a rational function. There will be vertical asymptotes everywhere that q of x is zero while p of x is not zero. If q of x and p of x are zero at the same time, then we have a removable discontinuity, or cancelable factor, which we'll present as a whole on the graph. Note that the multiplicity of the zero of q of x will determine the asymptotic behavior. If the multiplicity is odd, the asymptote will have behavior going in opposite directions, as one side of the asymptote goes towards positive infinity, the other goes towards negative infinity. If it's even, the behavior will go in the same direction, both sides of the asymptote to positive infinity or both to negative infinity. If r of x is 2x plus 1 over 3x plus 4, there are no removable discontinuities, so no holes on the graph. There is a vertical asymptote of x equals negative 4 over 3. If n of b is 2 times b minus 3 times b plus 2 divided by b minus 4 times b plus 2 times b minus 2, there are vertical asymptotes at b equals 4 and b equals 2, but a removable discontinuity at b equals negative 2, so there will be a hole in the graph there. I wonder what this means for the b plus 2 in the numerator. Does this mean there's an x-intercept at negative 2 or not? You have seen the definitions of a vertical asymptote and removable discontinuities, as well as two examples on how to find them. You will now be able to apply this to more complicated rational functions and begin graphing features of them.